Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in this video I'm going to be customizing and reviewing the new vehicle which I believe is the Obey 10F you know because it's not like we've already had like five of these that look exactly the same why not go for six so with this vehicle it's actually going to be worth a little bit more than most of the Obey cars that we usually get which is worth a price tag of 1.6 million dollars so that is very interesting it looks the same the same exact style as every other obey so that's pretty decent this one looks a little bit more slicker than the others the other ones looked a little bit more like uh like they weren't that customized on the vehicle but this one does so let's go ahead and get it i'm not sure i always do like doing this in like a white color and then we'll take this into our auto shop. Alright, so our vehicle is here. Now, I do apologize. Apparently, there's only one vehicle that's called the 9F. I don't know why. I thought there was more than one of these vehicles. But maybe there's just like a ton of them on the road or something. And that's why I thought there was a lot. So, this one's like the newer version of the 9F, which we've had in the game for, I think, whenever it came out. Because it was in story mode. So, it's actually got a little bit of a difference here. So, you see the little two fenders. The seats have like the outline color of uh, I guess white because that's what we chose. And then this is the back of it. The back definitely looks slick for sure. Especially for the fact the exhausts are actually hiding kind of like in the back or you know in the back of the vehicle. Alright armor would do that 100%. Brakes 100% or race brakes. Now we got our bumpers. This is like the, full, the first customization for any vehicle. So I'm just going to scroll down here because I don't want to make the video like way too long or anything. And I'm just going to go ahead and see which one's the best in my opinion. I do like the carbon. I think the carbon does look pretty nice. Yeah, I'm going to do the carbon super splitter. And now we've got the rear bumper. Whoa. Okay, that's weird. All right, we're going to stick with the carbon race diffuser. Now we have the engine. Let's go ahead and max that out. Exhaust. We're just going to keep scrolling here at the exhaust until we find a good one. I wonder if any of them actually like stick out the car. No, they do not. So there's really no like difference because no one's going to pay attention to that. So I guess the best we can do is probably carbon infinity. This seems like the biggest thing with this vehicle is doing carbon on everything. Anyway, grill. Just keep scrolling down here. Oh, I do like that. I like the, uh, the front of the vehicle. All right. So the primary vents looks actually really, really good. So now we're going to do the hood. I'm not sure what you can all do for the hood. Okay, so you can do a little bit to it. That's good. Um, I'm going to make this a primary because I don't like the carbon on this part. You can see here we got the carbon hood vent, which definitely doesn't look too bad. This is starting to remind me of the uh, Trafed Nero. I think that's what it's called. Um, it's the one you can buy from Benny's. It's starting to look a lot like it to me. I'm not sure. All right, we're going to do the primary performance hood. Now I have lights. Let's go to neon lights. I might go to, um, uh, what is it? The, uh, Los Angeles car me and see if I can, like, change the color of the headlights and stuff. If it, if I want to make it look slick at all. Uh, now we have the livery. I'm just going to keep scrolling here and just seeing if there's one specifically that I'm into. Okay. So that was all of them. I couldn't really find too much. I do like this. The, uh, Jackal Racing looks pretty cool. Yeah, I think we'll stick with the jack racing. Boom. Mirrors. Primary carbon or forged. I always like to do primary for this. Respray. Now, this is when it's kind of mattering. So, let's look at the crew color. Alright, so I made the side panel the primary one. But I did have to change the color a little bit. So, yeah. So, I did make the skirts the secondary forged skirts. But what I had to do is actually change... The secondary to crew color because I did make it yellow for the uh, the brakes here but I decided I'm not gonna do that just because it's gonna look weird if I have like, a yellow here so yeah now we have spoiler I don't think I'm gonna do too much with the spoiler I'm not really a fan of putting much spoilers on like sports cars like this yeah we're definitely not doing any of these I might do uh which one that one that one looks pretty cool it fully primary ducktail yeah, there we go. That looks good. Suspension all the way to competition. 
transmission all the way to race turbo tuning don't really know what the point of turbo tuning is but okay and then we're gonna go ahead and we might do a uh i guess we can do a sport have you ever been broken gta and just wish you could go from this to that without spending a bunch of shark cards that go from a 99 dollars just to a million that could probably get you a couple cars maybe some buildings and businesses but nothing to what you need luckily we have op mods op mods is a gta 5 money account and services website that's basically really trustworthy not only do they actually show their proof of work and have a five star rating of trust pilot but they're also a lot cheaper than the other gta 5 competitors and you can even use code discount legit for a five percent discount on all your purchases thank you and back to the video there we go synthetic z We'll make this a car in black. Tires, tire design. We can do custom if we want. We'll do that. And then a Windows limo. And that is it. We are good to go. So this is the fully customized vehicle. You can see here it's basically a green and a black type of design. Even the back of the engine is a little bit of a greenish to it. So that's pretty cool. What's it out? 10 o'clock? Okay. So it should be good. It should be a little bit light outside so we can actually drive in and look, you know, out in the daylight. Yeah, it is. All right, cool. So this is what it looks like. Looks very, very nice. Let me go and get out with the vehicle here. See if I can go first person. There we go. I do like the, uh, the little wolf head over there. It looks really cool. But yeah, this is a really, really nice vehicle. It definitely does look sleek. And it's a very, like, small, condensed type of vehicle. You can see here the whole back of it. Maybe we could have changed like you put a little bit of green on the back, but I never did that. I don't know if it ever even gave me the option for it. See here the side skirts are green. It makes it look really cool. I did make the wheels custom. Uh, just because I thought it looked a little bit better on it. And there we go. So now we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of a test drive here. See how well it actually goes. Now I do want to do a first person look real quick. Yeah, most of the time, first person, it's always look the same in no matter what car. Um, the only difference with this is that there's a green outlight within the seats and the uh, dashboard. Um, there's nothing really for the radio. And the gear shift still looks uh, very 2012 look. So is the radio. The only thing they ever customized is the wheel and probably just the uh, speedometer and stuff over there. And that's about it. The seats and everything, they keep the same even though the leather part in the uh, door still looks a uh, very 2013 look. The graphics are the best. Anyway, let's go ahead and drive it here. See what we got. Let's pick it up a little speed. So that's pretty good. I wonder if there's like a good old speed glitch I could do with this. I bet there is. Yeah, it has pretty decent speed. It's not really that fast, but it's also not slow whatsoever. Um, I don't know if it is worth the price tag though. Um, just because it does look really cool. It honestly does, but it does remind me a lot of the Obey uh, 9F. So, all right, so we are here at the Los Santos airport. Now, I didn't realize I wasn't recording the whole time, so you missed out on the actual first reaction of this. So, I'm just going to go ahead and try to speed glitch here. Uh, the rims are both shot, so it should be good to go. I think it, I think the speed glitch honestly just works for every vehicle. Uh, I guess Rockstar just doesn't know a way to like patch it or they just don't care to. It could be that too. Give it one more shot here. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely picking up speed for sure. And there we go. So the speed glitch does still work, so that's really nice. It works on the newest vehicle possible. I'm guessing it's going to work for even newer vehicles and future ones. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe for more GTA 5 videos like this. With that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there, and goodbye.